Hello everyone, it's Tom the Taxi Driver. And welcome back to my channel where we navigate London and life. We're gonna play The Getaway. You might remember this classic. This was kind of year 2000s, I'm gonna say. Getaway 2002. So I would have been about 11 years old when I played this game. Definitely not old enough for the, the 18 age rating. Um, or parental advisory. I don't think my parents were watching over me. We'd had games like Ga Grand Theft Auto, and now all of a sudden, there was a London-based game. You know, I'd been to London like a few times as a kid, but this was empowering. I couldn't drive, and here I am in London, driving, just picking cars and being able to navigate London. I suppose it was almost like the beginning of my knowledge journey. It came with a map. The, I think the, the blurb on it, the marketing blurb, was that it covers 40 square miles of London. And I was like, wow, that's amazing. And I look at this map now, it's kind of cool. It was a pull-out poster, I really remember this. So you get your pull-out poster with like the main characters on it. Here's the map. And I had a good look at this. I mean, it's tiny now. In my head, that is tiny. Not a lot has changed. It's very, it is accurate. That is bang on. I can see that straight away. Bits of Mayfair are missing, but we'll see. We're going to play it and I'm going to check, is the getaway an accurate representation of London? Let's play it, shall we? <laughs> this is classic. Childhood me is just like, oh wow. <laughs> like, where's this been? Isn't it so weird how your brain like stores like all these sounds and sights and stuff and it just comes back like... Come on, should we skip? Right, the controller works, that's important. The controller works. Triangle, 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 left, square, triangle, 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 left, circle. When the lady screams, apparently that's the cheat activated. So, extra features, free roaming. I think you had to complete it to get free roaming, and I think my brother probably completed it, and I just went on to free roaming. So, cheers, Joe. Thanks, mate. There you go. That was it. They give you like this, uh, this funky car. Oh, don't crash into the taxi. Right. Let's work out where I am. Back into the Astro van. This looks like Great Marlborough Street because of the way it bends up. So these cars, right? They're going to be going. I think that's left into Poland Street. I'm very confident here. So we do a left on Poland Street and it'll be left and right Oxford Street. You ready for this? Oh my God, look at that. <laughs> yeah, there's an old HMV. Remember HMV and Burger King? How are they still going? It's left turn only. Not traffic lights there in real life, but look. I am so amazed. I am astounded. So Oxford Street, I'm crashing into people there. Top shop, remember that? Yeah, let's so Oxford. Here's Oxford Circus. How do we get out of the motor? Circle. There you go. So there's the nice Leslie Green station there, look. Oxford Circus. Remember this, folks. This was in the year 2000. Year 2021, you can still drive across it, but Westminster has put in plans that they want to ch change that into a, an Ital Italian style piazza. And like these railings, they're not there now. I'm sure in the year 2000, they might have, might have been there. It does kind of remind me. You don't really get those railings a lot now in London. That does remind me of kind of classic London, shall we say. You can just see um, John Nash's All Souls Church up there. I need to get in a cab. I didn't pull a gun on him. But look, remember this? Back in the days when Regent Street had two lanes going up and down. Oh yeah, when you get free roaming road, I remember this, you can actually uh, set your indicators. Yeah, left indicator, right indicator. Where's the right? There's the right one. There's the left one. <laughs> I remember as a kid, I would actually use those indicators properly. Like I would actually drive around in Nintendo as like driving in London. All Souls Church, uh, Portland Place. That's John Nash Church. You go around this Portland Place, nice wide pavement. It's not quite that wide in real life. Um, have they even, no way, look. They've actually got, this is the taxi ranks. It's not marked out as taxis, but they've actually put these parking spaces in place. Uh, that's obviously broadcasting house. Ooh, you don't get the higher elevation of the Langham. The Langham isn't much taller than that, the Langham Hotel. 
So what's missing off this so far is that there's no um, lefts here. Normally you'd be able to left into New Cavendish Street, any of those New Cavendish Street. Can't left into Weymouth, but to do it, we can get ourselves into Regent's Park. This all looks correct. Getting the height ain't there. They've only just recently just finished refurbing all of these along here. No, no Regent's Park. But we can get onto the new road, the Euston Road. I seem to remember you could probably see BT Tower on this, so I reckon if we come back round, now you would normally see it in real life from here. This is probably gonna be our northern boundary. Shall I consult the map? Ah. Ah. Oh dear, 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 oh dear. No, please don't, I'm on free run mode. Don't shoot me. You're London coppers, you don't have guns. That's so outrageous, could you imagine that in real life? Just. They've obviously put these sort of fake houses in the top here, these fake terraces, they don't exist in real life. Great Portland Street Station's on my right. Remember when you could go in the Euston Underpass? Remember that, the Euston Underpass? When you could actually go through there? Camden, take note, it used to be better. Right, Euston Station, not amazingly represented. You can see there, that's where the Euston Arch would have been, that was in my Watch Dogs video that we did, where they put the Euston Arch back in. Uh, Eversholt Street on the left. St Pancras Renaissance, we've got to see how they've got the Renaissance in here. Will they give up? So I just shoot them? Just saying, in real life, would never do this. Like... They're arresting me. Come on. Man's wearing a suit. Right. Moral of the story, don't bump into the back of police cars. What were they driving? It was like a Peugeot 106. That's the other cool thing I love about this, just the cars of the time. Right, we, at least I know where I start now. Should we go west instead? Let's see how far west we can go. I think you can get along the baseball road. So yeah, Great Marble Street. Liberty's on the left. Liberty, London. Look how fast the cars are going up Regent Street. Remember when you could do that? Let's go down Oxford Street. We're going to go the west. Don't bump into the the police car, they'll have a go at you. I'll probably bet off on the pavements. This is so, the handling is all over the place. Sorry. 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 Debenhams! Ooh, Debenhams, who remembers that brand? Still there, but just Selfridges. It feels correct. We're now gonna go to Marble Arch, where they're now putting that massive mound. Have you seen this, the mound? Another John Nash artifact, the Marble Arch that was once attached to Buckingham Palace. I know what I'm gonna do. This is why I always used to do in this game. If you go, Bayswater Road. No, jump out the car. Right, so let's go along here more. I wonder if it's the BT van. Let me see if I can jump in. Uh, no, it's not. They, um, they apparently got in a lot of trouble on this because they had uh, BT vans in the game. And this is me unpausing. Oh shit, I just hit restart. Fuck. On Free Roam Road, there's actually like a hidden Easter egg, like where you can get these snazzy cars. But even when I found it, I think it's in the dead easiest location. I've since researched it as to where it is, so now it's obviously easy. But I remember I would play this game endlessly, never learn really where I was. It would always by chance I found this location where I could get these cars. Uh, now I know it very easily. It's just uh, along the Bayswater Road. I'm gonna get out of this car because it's not great. Do you think I can steal a bus? Yes, I can. Oh, no way, it gives you interior view. Look at the turning circle of the bus! Wow. God, this is slow. Right, at least that makes me a bit more controlled and conserved. Like I say, it was always just absolute guesswork if I could ever find it when I was younger. So I like to think my knowledge skills have uh, come a long way. This is now heading westbound. Uh, this runs aligned with Oxford Street. Oh, I'm gonna get out here, just have a little mooch around because, yeah, that's the Lancaster Gate Hotel. That's, that feels, you know, this is 20 years old, this game, but that feels so correct. Just the view of the Lancaster Hotel, the Royal Lancaster Hotel. Man, I'd love to have been a cab driver back then. That would've been mad. You know, the West Carriage Drive might actually have been moving. Right, so you go in here. This doesn't exist in real life, by the way. I've actually, you know, scoped it out just in case I can go in there and drive. Basically, it looks like a Nissan Skyline of sorts. Uh, that was then a TBR, I think. 
Yeah, definitely TVR. TVR server or something like that. Uh, and then inside this garage, you have the Lotus and this little go-kart. So I think I'm gonna go with the go-kart. I think his hands aren't even on the steering wheel. <laughs> so let's go through West Carriage Drive. Let's go see if we can see the Albert Memorial. The Sackler Gar Gallery isn't on the east side though. I mean, you could, they call it a reptilian gallery. <laughs> oh my God, look at that view. Look, you can see the Hilton Park Lane over there in the corner. That's what I like. I think that's always so hard to capture in games, especially for this game, you know, this is like 20 years old. And that perspective, like you're actually in London, because you do get that perspective. If ever you walk through Hyde Park, you will notice that you can actually look over and see uh, the Hilton Park Lane. Don't know what that one is. That could be above the Odeon that was at Marble Arch. There used to be quite a big tall development there. It's now been, it's been knocked down and rebuilt. But that's definitely the Hilton Park Lane. But interesting, they put the Sackler Gallery on this side. Serpentine Sackler put it on the east side. It's actually on the, the west. So this is correct then. We should bend round to the right for then coming round to the left. So that's where the Serpentine Sackler Gallery is in real life, just on our right. And then we're gonna go over the Serpentine Bridge. Oh, look at it. I mean, the only thing that is missing from this is the fact that you would normally have the London Eye along there somewhere because you would kind of be gazing straight probably more that way towards the London Eye and this this game would have just been in time for the London Eye I think they did, they did feature it on here because that was like you know obviously 1999 year 2000 it's so amazing to play this game again and actually have an understanding of perspective I am in awe of it even more so can we see the Albert Memorial no, I don't think they put it in they just ended it with trees because look if we go forward I mean, that all looks correct, like the Royal Geographic Society. Royal Geographic Society. You can't go down Exhibition Road then, no Exhibition Road there. Who have they got? Is that Nelson they put on the corner? They've turned it into like a pub. That's got to be Nelson, isn't it? Have they made it like a, yeah, the, they've made it a pub, the Lord Nelson. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe they don't like the Royal Geographic Society, I don't know. And then looking down that way, yeah, they've kind of put in that, that green thing there, is actually the Royal Albert Hall. So they've kind of textured it. And the uh, the terrace leading up to it, the mansion's there, that's the Royal Albert Hall mansions. Something along those lines. It'll come to me if someone gets in and asks me, but I'm gonna go to my favorite bit actually that I used to always do. I mentioned this in a previous video. I'm gonna go to Chinatown. That's kind of what made a lot of sense to me was playing this game, seeing Chinatown, and then seeing Chinatown in real life. Oh, they have got the barracks on there. There you go, High Park Barracks, that tall building on the left. If ever you see the horses on Whitehall, you know, you have the Queen's Guard who sit on horses on Whitehall, they come from there. Ooh. Now this area looks a lot flatter. If that, now that, look at that for a sight line. I'm sorry, I'm just getting mesmerized by every part of this. Park Tower Hotel, look at that. I mean, this doesn't feel that right. That looks like a cinema there. What have they done there? This is Knightsbridge right, right now. <laughs> Get away, team, sorry, production. See, I don't know. Um, this is the other sort of drawback to, to myself. I've only been actually kind of collecting a real experience of London since. Well, I started the knowledge in 2014. I've had my badge since 2017. So year 2000, it could have been a lot different because this is almost right by the, um, where the McLaren dealership is. And that's all quite a new build of developments there. So who's not to say that there was once a cinema there? I don't know. Put it in the comments down below if you've, you know, some people have a much longer knowledge of London than I do. I have a good knowledge of London, but only sort of current London from the past 10 years. Let's go see Harrods. We can't be in Knightsbridge and not see Harrods. My mum would kill me. No, they've not put it in. As if, why would they not do that? They've not even really populated it. Should we, we need to consult this map. This is very upsetting. Why would they get this far? Like if you pop, if you put Knightsbridge in, nah, just go straight. Straight into Kensington Road and Kensington Gore. Oh, come on. Ugh. Let's go to Soho. What way are we gonna go to Soho? I wanna get to, not Lyle Street, Little Newport Street. I'm gonna go Piccadilly Underpass, Shaftesbury Avenue, and just come in right at the top. Just before you get to the, the Soho Fire Station. Uh, this game is death defying. Piccadilly Underpass. Green Park on the right hand side. 
that's then the Ritz on the right hand side. Sorry, mate. Sorry. Preta Manja. Look at that. Back when it was a lot smaller, I imagine. Logo still the same. 20 years ago. Now, they bred like, I was about to say sheep, bred like bunnies. Let's not get distracted on Soho. Let's go to this underground car park. The Q Park in Soho. Ah. Royal Academy on the left. And yeah, this is a, a change. This was, um, I didn't realize this uh, until a cabbie pointed out to me that it used to be Piccadilly was one way. So look, you can see the bus lanes are coming out, but which is traffic one way in. Who would have thought? I just, you couldn't ever imagine that. I would never have been able to imagine that. Statue of Eros. Look at that, Piccadilly Circus. Oh my God. Name all the theatres as you go past them. Lyric, Apollo, Gilgood, Queens, Palace. Little apples grow quickly, please. I've just gone straight past where I wanted to go at Soho. That's the Palace Theatre up there. Jessops. Remember Jessops? This is where I want to go in the queue park. There's a taxi rank here, normally. And I, whoops, this is it. Cambridge Circus Car Park. Oh yeah, makes sense, Cambridge Circus, yeah. Don't know what the infatuation with coming in here was. I just think it was because it was like underground and different. City Link. Who remembers City Link? I've never actually been in the queue park in real life. Maybe I should do this as a comparison. Someone told you that, you know, 20 years later, you'll be playing this game and people will watch you play it. Such a weird world we live in, eh? Something that I would have played at home by myself not within the guidance of my parents because it's a parental guidance and they should have been watching over me because of the, the foul nature of this game. <laughs> I mean, the camera can't even like cope. I can't even see where I'm going. Look at that. An old Enridge. So that would have been a 1996 van. A 1996 in 2002. You can't even get it out. Who done this? What? <laughs> I'll get it out. It's stuck. There's one there, look. I'll just get him. Come here. Da, 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 da. So Martin's in the crypt. Stairs there. Uh. Oh, yeah. Christ, look. You can drive around the top of... Oh, I would love it. Imagine that. Why? We are slowly losing, I think, in London. I think my time is limited as a, as a cabbie. Is anyone driving in London? Because, look, you used to be able to drive over the north side of Trafalgar Square. Look at that. Wouldn't that be amazing? Going past that wonderful William Wilkins building, the National Gallery. Right, statue check. Is it George IV? There's someone on a horse. It's got to be George IV. There's no artwork on that plinth. And none of the other statues are there. Okay. But Trafalgar Square feels right. What's he doing? South African Embassy, King Charles the First Island. Look, he's there. I've got distracted again. I was going to the city, wasn't I? Oh, that is, come on, that is brilliant. I find this even more astounding because when they made this game, you didn't have the reference and data points of Google Maps and stuff like that, because that didn't exist. So they've had to just sort of look at, I don't know, A to Z maps and things. They've had to go out and physically sort of map it, take photos. But to get that so right, it's so correct. Oh, those, um, can't think of the name of it, not freezes, the, um, ah, oh, pediment, the pediment on the top of the, like, the, the buildings there. So there's the horse guards, not there at the moment, but that's horse guards, which leads to horse guards parade. Ministry of Defense, left hand side. Number 10 Downing Street, of course. That's where our Prime Minister lives. The Cenotaph. Oh, Richmond House, that, that building looks perfect. Oh, this is so good. Westminster Abbey. Just the way that the House of Parliament comes up. Winston Churchill. Yes. My man. My G. Look at that. That is so correct. No other statues here in Parliament Square. Supreme Court over there. Ah. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Big Ben! Who remembers when you can see Big Ben? Wow. Right, don't nick a car near the police. Don't nick a car near the police. Yeah. What even is this car? Portocarlis House. That's so iconic. London Eye. 
This game just makes me fall in love with London even more. St. Thomas's Hospital. I'm speechless. I loved this game as a kid. It's still just as amazing and relevant now. Ooh, they must have rebuilt that. They probably, they probably did in that time. Black Plaza, Westminster. Bit of London before my time. I know what we've got to do. I know what we've got to do. Change my vehicle, most likely. MR2. Is it? Yeah, MR2. You can see by the mud flaps. La IMAX roundabout. Woo! Okay. Oh, even those steps. Oh, my word. Oh, my. The South Bank Centre. The BFI. Right, let's compare sight lines. Let's get to the north of Waterloo Bridge. I think they've got the Strand Underpass on this. If they've got the Strand Underpass and Watch Dogs hasn't, I'm, this is already a better game. Just saying. Right. Oh dear. Don't don't sound dead. No. <laughs> got all the way to Waterloo Bridge to see the site, and I just got knocked down. No. So my summary, my thoughts on this game. It's so much more, I think, more impressive than Watch Dogs. Watch Dogs, I know, has that kind of real micro attention to detail. You know, by putting in stuff that's not actually there, kind of future forecasting London. But the getaway, for something that's 20 years old, and they could really only go off of, you know, existing maps of London, and none, none of this Google Maps and stuff, is so incredibly impressive. And what's even more astounding is that all the perspectives are correct. I'm so glad I actually played this game again. Let me know your thoughts on this. Was you driving in London, you know, more than 10 years ago, 20 years ago? I'll be interested to see how this stacks up from your memories of London. Also, are there any other games of London I should be playing? I love getting involved with all of these. And it's your suggestions that really help out here. Take care, and I'll see you all again soon. Bye-bye.